For 400 million years, every top predator has needed the same fearsome piece of equipment, a wicked set of jaws. Out of life's endless struggle, predators evolve, defenses evolve in response, and ferocious top predators evolve again. It's a vicious story of kill and be killed, of escape and capture, the story of Jaws. powerful set of jaws today belongs to the Crocodilia order, which includes crocodiles and alligators. Their fearsome bite snaps shut with 3,000 pounds of bite force power. On the 1 8 inch point of the sharpest front tooth, 24,000 pounds per square inch, twice as much power as the average nail gun. The crocodile can feed on animals as large as water buffalo and wildebeest. For millions of years, crocodiles and every creature with a powerful jaw has held a huge advantage in the struggle for survival. The presence of a jaw changes the playing field altogether. What it means is that you're not limited to feeding on things that already fit in your mouth. Such a, a great asset that the vertebrates with jaws outcompeted everything else. In the history of the vertebrates, there's probably nothing quite as important as the evolution of a jaw. Jaws are everywhere. But once there were no jaws at all. How could one anatomical feature, a simple muscled hinge, drive so much of evolution, literally shaping many animals we see today? The answers begin with the first bite. In 1979, these fossils were identified as evidence of the world's first known jaws attack. This is the first bite mark produced by a jaw, absolutely. It's a lot harder to identify who did the biting. The victims were tiny creatures from 530 million years ago, just a few inches long, called trilobites. Something had taken a bite out of their side. Or had they? Where were the biters? The hunt was on. At stake was proof of one of the main pillars of evolution. The widely accepted theory that predation, animal attacks on others for food, is the most powerful force in evolution. Because it means that prey animals that don't develop defenses die out. Those that do live. Predation has driven a variety of traits from social behavior to the evolution of armor. You can see the coevolution and the escalation of this predator and prey interaction by the evolution of very thick shells as predation increased. But if predation was the driver of evolution in the Cambrian, who or what were the predators that attacked and fed on the trilobites. A break in the case came in 1981, when scientists pieced together four fossils, thought for 70 years to be four different animals, and theorized that they were, in fact, one giant Cambrian beast. The discovery of a complete fossil a year later proved the theory. They called it Anomalocaris, the strange shrimp. In the Cambrian seas, it was a monster. We're talking up to two meters in length, 
and compared to your average trilobite during the Cambrian, which might just be a few centimeters, they really would have dwarfed them. Geologist Bruce Lieberman presides over one of the biggest Cambrian fossil collections in the world at the University of Kansas. One treasure from the vault is this mouth part from Enomalocaris, showing clearly the world's earliest known form of a jaw. It's almost like one of those pineapple slices that you'd get in a can. It's sort of a circle, and inside there's a smaller circle where the hole for the mouth is. And around that inner circle, there are these little jagged things like teeth. The strange jaw couldn't close all the way, but it could tighten and clamp down like a nutcracker. Was it the biter? Lauren Babcock's team at The Ohio State University went looking for a match and found it. We discovered that the sizes and the shapes of the bite marks matched exactly the size and the shape of the mouth parts of anomalous keratids. The discovery was huge. It provided solid, direct evidence that the Cambrian time period was a time of kill and be killed, of evolve or die. So it's clear sort of smoking gun of a predator-prey interaction, and that's rare in the fossil record. And it's very important that it's from the Cambrian explosion. In response to Anomalocaris jaws, trilobites would evolve new defenses over time, possibly even including chemical weapons. We see, for example, the rise of greater spines or thickened spines, and maybe spines that held poison glands. And this is really the first clear and convincing evidence that predation was a driving force in evolution, even from the very beginning of the Paleozoic era. Anomalocaris had everything going for it 